Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was making this for somebody, somebody today uh, that they're going to put pictures in, and it's quite unique of the kid in first year, second year, third year, fourth year, in 11th grade, and then I guess a senior picture here. And I couldn't get it to blend around this circle no matter what I tried. I tried doing it in a half. I tried doing it in quarters. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to go to effects and blend. And I just need to blend two. And then I go blend along new path. And it does not separate them because of the oval effect. I'm guessing. Because if we do some circles, perfect circles, it will work perfectly. And I've done this with, um, let me just do this, I'm trying not to talk, blend along full path. It does circles perfect. It blends them perfect, but it doesn't do the ovals. So what I did, and it really helped me and saved me a lot of time. Let's just go ahead and get back to where I had them blended on the, on that path. Well, let me just blend these to f the path, and I'll show you what I did. I did it in quarter, because to try to do this evenly, you just, I don't think you could, well, this would just be the best way to do it, I think. There might be a better way. So we're going to go and we're going to break the blend apart, and then we have to actually ungroup it. And mathematically, there's probably a way to do that. But I just doing it by eyesight. And as long as I stay, I guess I'm going to try to ungroup it again. As long as I have to break the blend apart, or maybe just ungroup everything. All right. So all I need to do is space these out equally. And if I just keep moving them, these two need to stay where they're at. But if I move these two around, and as long as I keep the oval in the center, I could space them out equally and then get your nudge distance really, really fine and just minutely nudge them over, nudge them up, keeping your X on that arc and just get them to your spacing as a part. I don't think you could align this. Uh, so that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna take away my arch and I'm gonna group this together, control G, and then I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. And I'm actually gonna flip it. I got it. need to change my object of origin. Well, I actually was holding down the shift button. Now we should be able to grab this and snap to it right there. Now you need to go here, do this, go ungroup. So you can take out that one extra one, group this together, control G, control D, and let's flip it. And now we should be able to move that and have it snap to that other ring. And if it doesn't work like that, it should. But I would just minutely move it around with your nudge tool. So you get a perfect ring. Then you need to ungroup it. This is a little bit of work, but it's going to save you a lot of time because we need to delete those two rings because you don't want to have that cut out twice. Now group this, control G. Let's get rid of this, what I was trying to do with the, I, I tried uh, blending half of it. I tried blending a quarter of it. Press P, press P, and there you have a blend around that circle and there's actually another circle or a ellipse or a oval 
inside that other circle. I think it's quite a bit, a little bit smaller than that. But that's the only way I could figure out how to make it equal all the way around. Because here's some of my blends. And see, the blends, if you blend it all, it touches in the middle, so you still got to move it. So why not get it even? Only two, three spaces do you have to get even, and then you do what we just did. You know, it's kind of funny looking at it. And if you look at it in some aspects, it looks like circles. Um, if you just look at it in general. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.